Scorpios. How are you guys doing? I hope that everybody is doing very blessed, very just positive, very happy today. Um, we're going to jump into your singles read. Happy Monday, you guys. Happy new week. We're going to jump into your singles energy and see what we have for you, what's coming up for you. So if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video. But if it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And for those of you who are new here or returning and you want a personal reading with me, go ahead and hit me up at the scene tarot, the, the channel name, the scene tarot at gmail.com. We have a special going that is going to be $50 for 12 minutes. $50 for 12 minutes. And um, I also have a new special that is running. Um, if you guys are returning and you purchased two readings for me already or three, your fourth one will be free. So yeah, keep it up, y'all. Keep it up. <laughs> um, I feel like I need to give back somehow. So I felt like, you know what, I need to just like created that for you so you guys can feel like, you know, you have like, you know how stores have points. I want to have something too. So you get a free reading if it's your fourth one. All right. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> so everything should be in the description box, but if not, just, you know, email me at the scene tarot um, at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Be patient with me. Okay, so let's get into your energy singles and see what we have for you. Ooh, Scorpio is coming through. You guys are, um, it's like you left something and you feel like maybe it shouldn't have been that specific time that you walked away from this situation. I feel like there's some kind of information that now you're, you're, you're finding out about and you're like, damn, I wish I knew that before I made that decision. Okay. So tell me about this. What's going on for singles? This could be a past situation too, that you're ah, four of cups. Okay. You felt like, you know what, this was something that you wanted to do in that time, in that moment, because you wanted that person to change. You felt bored in that relationship. This is what I'm seeing. Like, this person was very comfortable, feeling like you weren't going to go anywhere. But the truth is, <laughs> the gag is, you know, I feel like you give this person many chances. The sun. Ooh, okay. So we have the blissed energy. So someone is watching you, singles. This is what I'm seeing here. The Eight of Wands, they're afraid to come to you. They're afraid to take that journey, to take that leap of faith. Oh my God, within the Eight of Wands, it's like so much love that's building up, you know, so much like anxiety as well. Look at that. Because they have treated this this way and they waited too long, I feel like they're trying to see like, you know, if you're in a good mood or, you know, you forgot about what happened, maybe they could come around now, but I feel like a lot of time have passed. Yeah, they want to rebuild. Look at that tower in reverse. They want to be re to rebuild. They want to come back. You know, they want to have a relationship with you. They're looking at you as a sun. I'm seeing Leo or Pisces energy here. They're saying that, you know, you felt they felt very young with you and very free with you. This is what I'm seeing here within that energy. But they just waited around too long. I feel like this person was pointing fingers instead of taking responsibility and not sacrificing the way they should when it comes to this relationship, not compromising the way they should. Um, it's like they were like lingering on that. They were afraid. It seemed like they're backing away. Like they just like, like everything was going fine at one point. It just really slowed down very quickly. You haven't heard from this person. This is what I'm seeing here. Now they're afraid to approach. They were oh so cold. I'm seeing a cold energy. Let me just move my beautiful flower over here. Cold energy here. And the five of pentacles. It's like you're getting over this. You're wrapping this up. But yet here they come. Here they come. In the tower, Aries. I'm getting Aries and Scorpio as well. A lot of power struggles as well. It's like you were trying to let this person know that you know what you're talking about, but I felt like they think that you have an attitude or you're trying to be controlling and they just like felt that the, that was a red flag, but now they're knowing that whatever you were saying was 
speaking facts. You know, they were speaking facts here. Okay. So I'm getting a nurturing energy and motherly figure that's coming through as well. I'm seeing like you have some kind of, come some kind of anxiety with this. This could be a female. This could be a male. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of gossip with this situation, but this person is curious and see what's going on, what's being said. I feel like this person is to trying to like keep their um, reputation clean. This is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of things here that's going on. I feel like this person is triggering you to really see what you need to change about yourself or really, you know, tie up and end and move on. I'm feeling like there's like healing, like you're trying to heal with this energy around you. You're trying to like, just like get rid of anything negative around you, close these chapters there's new choices, new new things are coming towards you. I'm seeing that you're going to be fine. You're going, this is going to bring some form of a passion that's coming towards you. Um, it's like this could be love, but it's also opportunities. And I feel like it's from the heart. You understand? So it's like you're going to be, it's going to be like putting back the light back into your life. Everything that the flame that you have been missing, because these are like dimmed down very quickly. And whatever you will have been missing because of this energy, it's going to come back within the emperor. It's like I'm seeing like you're being successful. You know, you're not in the mood of being very um, emotional right now when it comes to other people. It's like what what's important to you right now because of everything that you've been going through singles is your success, is your money, is your 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 your, your life that you're trying to build. Your empire that you're trying to build for yourself. You're trying to build a comfortable life. Hmm. A lot of you all have this fear about what other people might be thinking. Because I'm seeing like this fear. You got too many swords. You're thinking in your head right now. I mean, it's not a, it's not that bad, but it's high. That's what I'm saying. Nine of swords, ten of swords. It's only two cards, but I just feel like you're thinking within your head right now. It's like it's like you're trying to, you know, be successful in everything that you're doing, and you're just thinking that there's something that's gonna happen that's gonna mess up everything. Why well, am I seeing that you think that you always have to work? You always have to work. You're tying up. You're getting out of debt. For those of you who are having money issues. I'm seeing like you're working towards getting out of debt, but I'm also here to tell you to not give anything that you cannot give. If somebody is pressuring you to give them a loan and talking about they're going to pay you back next week, you better not. You better not. Make sure that you have money to cover that because <laughs> things don't happen the way it should. But I'm seeing like the angels are going to balance things out for you. I'm seeing friends, new energy coming into your life. Maybe friends that you have already that is going to be of good energy. That is going to be celebrating with you or taking you out or changing that energy of feeling stressed or depressed. They want to have you mingle. They want you to be free. I'm seeing like some good karma is coming to you. Something about judgment. For those of you who are in court issues, just know that it's going to you know, end on your favor. But I feel like some kind of truth when it comes to this nine of swords and ten of swords, this mental and physical agony that you're going through, these scars, these lies, you know, these secrets, um, going back, this person that's making you go back in your head, I'm seeing a, a female here. I mean, the female, it's, it's, it could be a female, it's a, it's a feminine energy, you guys. It's a feminine energy that I'm seeing here. It could be a man or a woman, but it's something nurturing about this person, okay? I don't know if it's because you don't want to disappoint this person. This is what I'm seeing here. Like everything that they touch, it kind of blossom and something to do with you're afraid of disappointing this person or this person make you doubt yourself without knowing it. Like for some reason, this person is in your head and it's like, you feel like, I don't know if it's you or this person that feels like, damn, um, this person deserved better. Like somebody is afraid here within this energy of disappointing. This could be a mother or a fatherly figure. Somebody nurtured you or take care of you, provide for you, have the power. Okay.
temperance so you're choosing yourself here comes a four of cups you guys remember we saw that <laughs> on the back you have the lovers okay okay so this is a a relationship that's past relationship obviously that's coming up you guys are in separation so um gemini energy this is a twin flame for some of you because you're looking at this person as you're mirroring them they're reminding you of their of yourself as you see you're you're touching it's like you're touching this mirror you're making the same moves you're seeing yourself through this person you're going through some kind of challenges. I feel like a lot of you are in a commit was in a committed relationship, but this person still wants to be in one, and so do you. This is what I'm seeing here. But your friends want you to be single, by the way. But this person is getting too comfortable. Remember, I talk about comfortable. You want to explore. I'm seeing you choose yourself here, but this person is coming to you. It's just taking time. They want to be with you. For those of you who are worried about this tower, they want to be with you. So you're not going to be single for long. I feel like a lot of what, what's going on here is that this is just, you know, a hot-headed relationship. Look at that. This person doesn't do what you want them to do. It's your opposite. They're doing the opposite of what you want them to do. That's the point of a twin flame. Wow, you want to give this person a huge commitment, but you're just like, you can't. You don't know if you can trust this. Your cup is really just empty. You feel alone. You're very quiet about how you feel, but you're in your power. But, you know, you, you care about this person. You want to build. Look at that. You want to build an emperor. You want an empire, a legacy with this person. You want to get married. You want to have children. Whoever this person is, Gemini energy. Obviously, you're not some. You're not together. You're not together. This is what you don't see that I'm picking up here in the back of the deck. Hmm. Like every offer is in reverse, but your feelings. It's like they're come. They they have a lot going on. This is what I'm seeing. A lot of baggage with this chariot. But they, but they're being guided to you. No, I'm not gonna tell you to wait for this person because they're gonna take a long time. I'm gonna say, live your life. Mhm. Mm That's what I wanna say. Let's see what the angels have for you when it comes to your singles. Read Scorpio. Listen to your intuition. You're going to have to. And I feel like a lot of you are very quiet. It's like you already know what's going on because the angels are telling you. Remain positive. So don't think about anything that's or be around people that are going to make you think negatively. Big happy changes are coming. It's up to you only if you believe. Wow. So I'm hearing your mind is a powerful weapon. <laughs> you could achieve anything you want. You're the one holding yourself back. Within the next few weeks, I'm seeing a conversation. I'm seeing some kind of friends bringing you guys back together. I'm seeing, yes, there's going to be happiness on a conversation. You see what I'm saying? It's like the angels are saying, wait. Can I have three more? Thank you. So just close this up. Look at that compromise, romance. Oh, my. The flame needs to be flamed back. This is what I'm seeing. Look at y'all looking at each other. Okay. One more. I feel like y'all gonna work it out, but in time. But you need to find yourself. Look at that. Reconsider. Okay. You need to find yourself. You need to choose yourself. You need to make sure your identity is always intact. Don't think about this energy too much. Not to care about them. Yes, you, you're here to cure. You're here to love. But if there is a negative energy, don't think too much into that. Um, think positive. Or if anything negative is happening, make sure to turn it into, try to turn it into a positive situation. Use that to heal, okay? Use that to form some kind of understanding. Because if you use this to, to really just keep yourself, look at that, recover. Keep yourself in this negative energy, you're going to just 
You know, it's just going to take a long time for this person to give you any kind of clarity or comeback or it to make sense of why you even met in the first place. So this is a twin flame. They're supposed to be. I'm, I'm, I'm really pushing for a twin flame because I'm seeing this lovers here. I'm seeing this power struggle between you and this person. It's just that you're not on the right page. This person care about you clearly within the eight of wands. The ace of wands is also here. Um, it's, it happened really hot and heavy, really quickly. And then it just ended abruptly. Like this person just like start backing away or just realizing that, you know what? It's, it's, it's like you're trying to control them in the tower. It's a, a whole bunch of power struggle here. Like they had this, like this moment to realize like, oh, I'm just going to stop talking, stop calling, stop texting. You don't know where this person been. And then the stop calling, stop texting happened. And then it just lingered for a long period of time. And now that they don't know how to come up to you, they're afraid. This is what I have, y'all. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next singles. Bye, guys.